So in this tutorial, I continue my plotting in Excel, and I want to add another series on top of this one. In this case, I'm, I want to look at sunspot data and plot it over to the temperature data to see whether they're related. So I downloaded some sunspot data, and the same way I went and cleaned it up, and, and so on. And this is actually average over using a 20-year uniform average between 1880 and 2010. So the data goes basically between 1890 and 2000. So I go back to my chart. I can right click, do select data, and I can add another series. So I add another series, and when I add another series, it'll ask me for the title of the series, and it'll ask me for the uh, um, X and Y data points. So this is, the series name will be, say, Sunspots. The X values, I can click on that little colored box, go over to my data, and select the X values for my data. And um, I believe I have to select only numbers, or else Excel is going to get um, annoyed. So then I can hit the little colored box again, hit this little colored box, and then do the same thing for the Y values. So I'm going to select just the Y values for the new data set. and then hit OK. Now it's going to come back with my plot. There's my data. I can hit OK and it's going to come back with my plot. Now notice that the numbers for the sunspot data are in the 80s and 70s and 60s where the anomalies were always point one, point two, and so on. So we really need a separate um, y-axis range for this. So I'm going to right click on the on the data and I'm going to um, format the data series to use the, the a secondary axis and then I'm going to hit close. So the secondary axis now is over here and notice one thing, I'm going to move this down here, okay, one thing is that um, the fonts are really lousy for the secondary axis, so I want to make sure to go to ax, to go to go to go to um, uh, layout. I also need to set the uh, um, the the title, so I need to do the axis titles, uh, secondary vertical title, rotated title, and then look and call it say sunspots. Okay, and then right click on the plot. I can get these choices, so then I can choose um, secondary vertical axis title, make that size 24, make that big enough. Secondary axis itself, I have a value of 18. And notice it's trying to scrunch my data all around, um, which is making it kind of ugly. So I'm going to manually set the uh, horizontal axis. I'm going to go to the axis options and manually set the range. So I'm going to. I know the range goes from 1880 up until 2011, and that'll force Excel to use the full range of there. And I'm still going to leave the um, the trend line fit. So now we have sunspot data. And we have the um, the temperature data with the anomaly. We can see the temperature increase. We can see the sunspot data going up and down. And so then we can look at that. Finally, we may want to um, to to save this in some way. Um, probably print it to um, or save it as like a PDF. Uh, in addition to saving it as a, an Excel spreadsheet, so I'm going to save this as PDF and just you know, and then, and then save this. Say yes. Um, so then when I look at it in a PDF reader, it'll look nice and, 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 and clean, and I can include this document in something, in something else.